Hey, ladies, ditch the zero and get with the mega zero. Hey, what's up, my peoples? I'm Go here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the fans project Mega Zero. So here we are, and there he is, and first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. Now, you're probably wondering why the packaging looks different than the other Glacial Bots that I have reviewed. Well, there's a story behind this, and uh, the story the fans project told was that the, uh, the, the American version of Mega Zero, the shipments got lost at sea. So through a miraculous warehouse find, they found minty fresh cases of the Korean version of Mega Zero, and this is what they released. <laughs> I love how you're just going all out with the story and this motif, because if you collect G1 toys, there's a good chance at some point you bought a Japanese version or a Korean version, and I'm just knocking them all over. I'm so sorry. But yeah, so obviously this doesn't have, you know, the, the shelfware and the box where the other ones do, because these were a miraculous warehouse find, minty fresh. But yes, we have the window box here where Mega Zero sits in a big old block of foam, lots of stuff and things that I cannot read. Mega Zero in all of its forms, of course, the very G one styled artwork. Up top, we got Mega Zero. We also have a... Uh, some artwork here of Glacial Lord from the cartoon. So there you go. On the side of the box, we have him in his modes. On the other side of the box, we have four of his modes on the bottom. Again, you got Glacial Lord, things and stuff. Fans Project Retro Future, bloody bloody bloody. On the back of the box, again, you have all of him in all of him, all of him's in all of him's modes. Those are words, I, I think. I, I, I don't I do what I do. I don't know. Warning, don't eat anything. This box is gonna be very bad for you. And right here, I love this part. Very, you know, obviously an homage to the back of the G1 boxes. Very G1 back of the box artwork there. Both all the fans project bots, which is pretty cool. And that's basically it for the box. And you also get the little card that the little mini robot sits in. With a little rainbow pattern going on there. And again, stuff written out in Korean on the back. Mega Zero, body body, warning! And that's basically it for... The packaging and of course also included is the sticker sheet it actually tells you where all the stickers go on mega zero and of course you get the very uh g1 -y instruction booklets which is not in korean this is in english so you got that going on so there you go and moving right along here we have a mega zero the next component of the most wildest combat team in the universe The Combiner Glacial Lord. So let's put the robot off the side and we will take a look at the beast mode here. And this is a Megalosaurus. And I have this written down on a scrap of paper so I didn't forget because otherwise I would have just said it's a deer. I mean, which is technically not wrong either, but you know, people are people are picky about stuff like that. So, you know. <laughs> So people don't tell me a hundred times in the comment section. But yes, the Megalosser is here. And it's pretty nice. I actually do quite like the way this looks. I think this actually looks pretty cool. So let's get closer. Yeah. So we're going to take a look at the details. You got the eyes picked out there. Some nice paint. You got some red going on there. And the rest of the body just done in and off lights. You got the big old antlers there. Just done in yellow. And of course you have the sticker detailing. This should be closed. You do. There you go. And more stickers going on there and stickers stickers and little hooves and it's a little booty hole and that's pretty much it and there's the top and there's the bottom and he slides as megaloceruses should slide and there you go and for comparison as usual here he is with g1 optimus prime just so you can see how that works out and here he is with his other glacial bot buddies here. So you can see how the team is shaping up. And they look quite nice together. Very cool. So there you go. So now let's talk about articulation here in the beast mode. Uh, the antlers here are on ball joints. You can actually kind of bring them down. You kind of bring them back, rotate them, and have those angled. However you want, you can do what you want there. Be like, oh, he's sad. You know, you gotta do that. I don't know, whatever you want to do. That itself can 
move up and down a bit. The whole neck can move back, but that just kind of looks weird, but you can totally do, you know, eight. It's a thing you can do if you want to do it. Um, as far as the legs go, I mean, all the legs can just move outwards. You can have them just, you know, do the splits there. That's a, that's a thing. That's a thing you can do if you want to do it, eh? But that's pretty much <laughs> it's there. So now, let's bring in Mega Zero, the little robot here. We'll get in close here so we can take a look. At that noggin, visor done in red, face done in silver. Got kind of a dark gray and silver there on the chest. On the belts, you can see. Again, that very simple kind of G1-y styling going on there. Stickers on the back. And articulation wise, the same as all the others. Just have rotation at the arm. Legs can move forward, although the hinges on mine are quite stiff, but the legs, I assure you, there you go, they can move forward. And the knees can only move forward for transformation. On the full comparison, here it is with A. G1 Headmaster, and here it is with Titanmaster, again as you can see. Now it scales there, and we can bring in the other little guys here, just so we can see how they all look together. They're a nice little team of little bots, yay for little bots. And if you want, you can slide back this panel here. And Mega Zero can just slide right down, like so, and he can just kind of ride, <laughs> kind of ride the Mega Losteris there into battle. That's not the sound they make. I'm pretty sure that's not the sound they make, but you, you, you get the idea, though. You get the point there. You get the point. But so, I so yeah, have that. But yeah, that is basically it for the beast mode, so let's get down to transformation, shall we? <laughs> oh, that was just... none of that, none of that was good. Um, so let's just remove the little robot here, put him off to the side. On to transform the Megalosaurus, you're just going to, as usual, rip off the head. Decapitation is always a necessary part of the transformation for these guys. And you just take these legs here, fold them all the way back, and they bring out the robot mode arms. You bring the hind legs back, and then you just extend the legs. You take this whole assembly here. Oh, you want to close this back up. Take this whole assembly here, and just bring that back. And now he has no head. He needs a head. So now we bring in Mega Zero here, and the legs just fold right up, like so. And he just drops right down. You don't drop down the whole body. No, that's not what you do. You stay up. And there you go. There you have Mega Zero in his robots mode. And just like all the others, he's got that G1 -y vibe through and through. And I love it. I love it. <laughs> That's getting close here. Again, you know, it's the head we've seen before, but hey, they better take another look at. Of course, got that chest detail there, which is just a sticker. Got some silver, some yellow. Some red there on the wrists. A little bit of silver there on his toesy wozies. Those are stickers as well. And then over the back, not a whole lot to talk about. This little neck piece kind of turns into like a backpack. But yeah. Now, articulation wise, uh, he does have an elbow with 90 degrees of bend. So you got that going on. I guess you could you know, use this hinge also so you can kind of move his arms in front of his body if you need him to. And that's basically it <laughs> as far as the articulation goes. And we can bring in the Megalosaurus head. And what you do here is you just flip back this little handle here and you take the antlers and you rotate them around like so. And they will peg together right here like that. And you just peg this into his hand and this becomes a sword for him. That's pretty cool. So there you have that. And yeah, that is pretty much it there for the robot mode. So there you have that. Titans and now for Comparis Hut. Here he is with G1 Optimus Prime. They're little guys. Here he is with uh, G1 Wild Rider. And as you can see how they're kind of capturing that G1 look with these figures. And lastly, and of course not leastly, and we have the other glacial bots here. So we can take a look at the team so far. And they look quite cool together. 
And the last thing to show off here is the combine mode. So to get him into combine mode, we take this out of his hand, we just take his arms, and they just fold back. This suction just comes down over his head like so. So just like with all the other ones, if you don't want to remove the little robot, you don't have to. You can still transform him with that attached. And we just take the Megalosaurus head, we just flip that handle back in, and just put that back where it was. And we take this all simply here, and just rotate around so the combiner peg is poking out, and then we just take the antlers here, kind of bring them out, or not, you can leave them however you want, as always, it's yours. Display it however you wish. And of course the hand just plugs in right there, the hand comes with uh, Tusker, so we haven't gotten to him yet, but that's where the fist would go, and there is Mega Zero in his uh, arm mode, and yeah, that's, that's an arm mode, that's basically it. So, there you go! So there you have Mega Zero, and I know I'm going to sound like a broken record here, but I don't care! I love these! I love the idea of these! I just love the overall concept, love the execution. I love how they switched up the packaging to the Korean version and gave you a whole backstory behind it. Some people may not like that because now the boxes aren't all going to match, but still, I like the idea of it. And like I said before, this set just speaks to my inner 80s child, so very much enjoying these. Sometimes there's genius and simplicity, and I consider this definitely genius and simplicity, so... There you go! Now I picked these up from TF Source. I'll put a link to their site in the description down below, so you can check that out. You can also get Transformers and Fans Projects figures from BigBadToyStore.com, also linked in the description down below, so you can check that out as well. You can also check out the Glacial Lord playlist for any reviews you may have missed, also linked in the description down below, so you can check that out as well. And I think that's it, so don't forget to check out M Games, check out Love Peace Paranormal, follow me on Twitter, all of that good stuff down in the description below, and I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So, there is the Fans Project Mega Zero, and this is MGo saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old, you grow old because you stop playing. Be geek, be proud. Palm in your face! Uh, good afternoon, Mr. The Prime. Mr. The Prime? <laughs> that, that actually sounds even cooler. You hear that? Respect! Anyway, what can I do for you, son? Uh, I was just wondering, Mr. The Prime, uh, when are we gonna get our evaluation reports? Evaluation reports? I'm supposed to be evaluating you? Uh, yes, Mr. The Prime. Oh, um, okay, well, uh, uh you're, you're all doing a great job. Uh, thank you, Mr. The Prime, thank you. Uh, uh, I'll get back to work. Thank you. No problem. That's what I do. I'm the leader. I do leading stuff. Hey, hey, Optimus, uh, one of those exchange students told me you said I suck. I, 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 I have no idea what you're talking about.